Hey everybody, it's Wynn, and welcome to a new video by The Entropy System. So, it's cold and miserable, and I've got the fireplace going, and I was gonna sit down and play a game, and I thought, why not play it with you guys? The game that we got is Exit the Game, The Sunken Treasure. Exit the Game is essentially like an escape room in a box, um, and I thought that this would be just a really fun puzzle to do. Originally, we got this because we wanted Ed to play it with you guys. But he didn't want to. <laughs> I, I haven't started anything yet. I just set up the game. So we've got three piles of cards. We've got riddle cards. We've got answer cards. And we've got help cards, which come in triples. So there's by shape. We've also got a messed up coin, a mast, a piece of flag, and some pretty jewels. Ooh. <laughs> Lastly, we have um, a book called The Sunken Treasure. And a little spin wheel thing. What did they call this? A decoder disc. All right, so the game begins. You start a timer and it kind of ranks you on how well you do, like how long it takes you and how many help cards you've used. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the stopwatch. Boop. Here we go. Let's solve some riddles and find some treasure. You stare at the nautical chart. There must be some kind of indication of the wreck location. Suddenly, your dive guide, Edgar, is standing beside you and starts to speak. You're looking for the Santa Maria, I. It says I, so I figure he has a pirate voice. People say that she arrived in this region from the Northeast many centuries ago. Richly laden, the tale goes. First, the ship says, first, the ship is said to have passed a small inhabited island before sailing, I'm gonna, kill the voice, that's gonna be really annoying. First, the ship is said to have passed by a small inhabited island before sailing in the direction of Monkey Island. From there, the Santa Maria took the route to the west around the Bermuda Vortex dangerously close. Ooh. Then they say she sailed from there in a southeasterly direction. Do you know the Isla Fuego? It's crazy to steer near it, even today, its mountaintop still spews fire. Nevertheless, the Santa Maria is said to have passed the Isle of Fuego and changed course again shortly after, through Parrot Ravine into Palm Island and finally passed to the northwest. And then, after surviving all these dangers, the ship came to a stranded the ship became stranded on a sandy bar. How could the cabin boy have missed that? I I I Soon enough, the sea had taken the Santa Maria and no one ever saw her again. The X's on the nautical chart are supposed to show the most likely accident sites. You all listen attentively to Edgar's story. Find the spot on the map where Santa Maria foundered. The resulting code will help you uh, find the key to the wreck. So we've got this um, map here. Focus in on that. We've got this map now, and it's got a bunch of paths, and along those paths are little symbols. Like we've got like a little jellyfish and an octopus and stuff, and those all correspond to the symbols on this little wheel. So I've got to figure out which path it took based on those clues, and then line up the symbols on here to get the next step. So let's refocus on my face and we'll do this. Passed by a small inhabited island. There are a lot of small islands. Oh, this one's got a house on it. It's probably that one. Okay, so we'll pass by the small inhabited island. I'm hoping that this is just like a really easy one to start you off with because if this whole thing is basic as match the words to the picture, this is gonna be a very quick game. <laughs> All right, Monkey Island has a picture of a monkey on it. Okay, take the four. Fork southeast. All right, so here's what I've got. So here's the Santa Maria. So it goes by the inhabited island, and then it goes around this vortexy thing, past the volcano, down here to where the parrot is on the island, so like right there, past the palms, and then it says it ran into a sandbar, uh, which is right there, and that's the crash site. Uh, but basically it just went in a Big ol' circle. Okay, so the, that took me through. Now I gotta put the symbols on there, on here. So I'm gonna first put coral under there, cause that's the first symbol we go through. And then a crab, a pinch. Uh, then we go through another coral. Wait, 
wait, wait, wait. Okay, so the code on the thing is 604 and it opens the window to 14. Answer card, 14. What does it have, guys? Crap, I'm gonna revisit my map here. So everything up until this point is absolutely correct. We go by the inhabited island, then we go past Monkey Island, and then we go past the vortex and the volcano, go down through Parrot Ravine, there's the two parrots, so we went get here, and then it says uh, it went to Palm Island and then passed to the northwest. So am I supposed to go under Palm Island? Because that's northeastern of Palm Island. So am I supposed to go under and then just like circle straight back around to the northwest? I'm gonna give that a shot because the only other way, the, I took the other way and that was apparently incorrect, so. We're just gonna do a little cruise around Palm Island. So that does change our crash site. Off to a great start, kids. But it still puts us with coral, crab, seahorse, and anemone? Anemone? What if we go backwards then? So if I'm going backwards, it gives me the window of three. So let's do answer card three. This code might be right. What do you, where do you see the code symbol? And so I did the, pu the map puzzle, which says if this is the right code, then card 29 will say that it's correct. Or if not, then I just did a roundabout way of getting another X. 6, 27, 28, 29. Pow! Crap! <laughs> Here I was talking so much smack and now I can't even figure out this stupid... Mm, I'm just like, cause there's four symbols. I passed through four symbols. So why are there four symbols to work with? I can only do three. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, let's do that. And then crab and then coral. Okay, so this is answer code nine. No, it's not. I'm gonna go through every freaking, the next questions are gonna be really easy because if it's a card I've already drawn, <laughs> then I'll know it's wrong. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the help cards. First clue with the diamond puzzle. It says, look for the Santa Maria in the northeast corner of the nautical chart. Then step by step, follow the sea route described on page two of the book. The broken lines indicate the po possible paths. That's the hint. That's the hint. Okay, that's not counting. I'm not counting that. Okay, the hint two. Have you noticed the sea creatures on the nautical chart? Santa Maria crossed paths with some of them on her voyage. Isn't there another object in this game with creatures on it? Do you think maybe you should look at it? I know. I just don't know why there are four creatures on the map. And three creatures on the wheel! <laughs> ah! <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna do the solution card. I need to figure this out. I did the wrong Palm Island. There are two Palm Islands. One of them has one palm tree, and the other one has two palm trees. What I did was I took from here and I went around this way. What I should have done is followed this Palm Island and go up here. That makes it so there's only three shapes. Unbelievable, you found the accident site. Oh man, look at me go. <laughs> Armed with a shovel, you jump into the shallow water. What could be buried in, in the sand? Filled with energy, you get to work just, and after just a few thrusts with the shovel, you hit something wooden. The chest that you recover is surprisingly light, even though it's equipped with an iron lock. What now? Just then you catch sight of a note on the back of your nautical chart. Take a riddle card, take riddle card A and turn to pages four and five of the book. So this is the square riddle. It's just got a purple, a red, and a blue question mark. It's a diary entry. So you can see here that some of these letters are colored and those colors match this. And so we've got pur uh, purple, we've got E-R, O-Z, and then red, we've got V-E, F-I, and then blue, we have E-O-N. So I imagine I have to unscramble these to make a word. Okay, so E-R-O-Z is going to be zero. All of the fish and stuff also have numbers on them, so we'll bring zero over to the square. V-E-F-I, rearrange that to get five, so zero, five. And then we've got E-O-N, which is of course one, when you rearrange it. And that gives us card 19. Great, the box is now open, hooray! I feel like the quickness that I did solving that 
redeems me a little bit from the original puzzle, right? You find riddle card B, and what's that? It looks like an old coin. It can't be from the treasure of the Santa Maria, or can it? Riddle card B says, Softly, gently, and gracefully, the animals circle in the blue water. Do you see how they trace their circles? In super bold letters. It looks like they're floating from the top all the way down to the bottom, in bold letters, of the sea. So now we have this weird holy coin. So there are like pieces of the coin in this picture. Let's see what happens when we line this up with the broken pieces. Oh, I get it. So this is supposed to like, I'll start here. And it made a big deal about circles, so I guess whatever is shown... I'm, I'm holding that way off camera. And we'll see which which ones actually throw, show through the holes uh, of the coin. And that'll be our thing. So nothing shows through the... Nothing shows through on this first one. Second one, we've got a little fish. So we'll put the fish under what... what this is the circle puzzle. So we'll put the fish under the circle. Okay, so the first one... You line up the piece, nothing shows through. Second one, you line up the the piece with the broken bit and you see the fish. And we get to see another fish through the hole. Line up that piece, we got nothing in the holes. Okay, if we line if we line up this piece, ah, how do I get this without shadows? This piece we got a shell. Okay, so that was the last piece, so it's fish, fish, shell. Fish, fish, shell gives us card number five. One, two, three, four, five is what? Softly, gently, and gracefully, the animals circle in the blue water. Do you see how they trace their circles? Oh, okay. So I'm supposed to trace the circle, and I imagine if it's circling... Okay, 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 okay. I get it now. All right, so you trace the circles, and it's not which ones are in the circles, but which ones are in this, like, the little Venn diagram bit. So we've got fish, ho seahorse, and shell. Circle puzzle. Fish, seahorse, shell, gives us card 21. Perfect! Yay! I did it with no help cards this time. I figured it out on my own. Perfect! The lock on, on the barrel opens. Inside, you find riddle cards C, D, and E. Turn to page 8 and 9. Take the mast, flag, and the riddle, riddle cards. So now we have cardboard mast and broken cardboard flag. All right, so this page is pretty blank. It says the last, the last resting place of the Santa Maria. On a two-page spread here. It's got like a little rectangle around that. So let's look at our riddle cards. So in order, we've got riddle card C, which is a locked box. Then D has some words on it. It says the Santa Maria lies on the ocean ground, made from wood, rectangular, not round. These, there rises a decaying mast. If you lift and hold it fast, the fastener there has up and died, so stick another one inside. Atop a flag now waves. At the top, a flag now waves that also has seen better days. As soon as you see the hatch in the floor, the true code will come to the fore. Time to be clever, but mostly be sure you look very closely. Okay, so then we've got, uh, it says one, two, and three. One, we have the mass and the flag. Two, we have the seaweed, and three, we have a coiled up rope. Okay, I'm sorry, the aesthetic is real nice, but this is too hot. I am sweating. I was very cold when I started this, but now I'm too warm, so I'm gonna turn this off one second. Yeah, I'm gonna do the help card. I'm, I'm, I got nothing. I got nothing for this one. Help card, first clue. Riddle card D tells you how to reconstruct the wreck. Pages eight and nine tell you where it's lying. What you're still missing is the wreck itself. I'm gonna do the second clue. I have no idea. Check the assembly of the Santa Maria step by step as described on riddle card D. Use the game use the bottom half of the game box as the wreck. Okay, it didn't say to do that. It didn't say to do that. How was I supposed to know that? Oh balls. Okay, so I gotta cut a slit in here and stick this. Ta-da! Oh, and the boat lies. Fits perfectly on that little, on that little rectangle. Just boop, top, atop a flag. Now. Okay, so the flag is on top to kind of hang that. Ta -da. As soon as you see the hatch in the floor, so there is a coiled up rope inside here that's got a card shape around it. So I guess that goes here. My battery's about to die, so we're gonna come back to this puzzle. 
See you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, I'm back. I turned the fireplace back on because it got cold again. Okay, so we left off at 51 minutes. 51 seconds. So we're gonna have a start. And I'm gonna look back at this boat again. I imagine a lot of this is gonna get cut out of just me staring at a cardboard box. So as a reminder, we've got one is the mast and the flag, two is seaweed, three is the coiled up rope. So this is what I found so far. So on the mast, there are these little coral looking symbols. And then on the side of the boat, we've got a seaweed looking thing, but I don't see any numbers or letters or anything like that. Maybe I should have done this with somebody and not just on my own, because I feel like I'm majorly just embarrassing myself because I can't figure this stupid thing out. I just figured it out. Okay, I think, I think. So when I put, when I put this on the boat, like there's, when I put the boat on the paper, so there's like a, a rectangle outline. So I put it on there and this sticks out and looks like a six. This is either a seven or a one. And then when I put the card in here, uh, I don't know how much you can tell, but the, it makes a big zero. There's a big loop with the rope. So one, six, zero. Brings us to card 22. Pachow! I did it! <laughs> I feel very accomplished. Although I do think it's dumb that they expected you to know you were supposed to be using the box as a tool. But I guess maybe if you're used to these games, you know to expect that, but whatever. Okay, so it says, fantastic. The deck hatch now opens. Suddenly you see a deep black hole. Is that something floating beneath? Is there something floating beneath you? It's riddle cards. F, G, H, I, and J. Take the cards from the stack and dive down into the hatch into the darkness. You may now turn to page 11 and tw or 10 and 11. Okay, so F, G, H, I, J. What do we got? Oh, we got some little wiggle puzzles. Oh, I have to cut them out. Well, all right. Let's go to the next page and see what it says. These are my little cards. You've got the scissors, so I'm supposed to cut them out, and they've got just these weird little doodle things. So I'm gonna cut those out real quick. Oh, it makes numbers! Okay, I'm figuring it out slowly but surely. All right, so I connected, I connected the A all the way through, and it made a five. Let's see, got a three. All right, and the last one is the purple one, and that one, is a one. Brings us to, oh, oh, camera's all over the place. Sorry. I'm getting too excited. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> all right, so card seven. Yes. All right. I'm feeling so good. All right. Sweet, the box opens. Unfortunately, the contents are a little disappointing. Just a single riddle card K. Take the card from the stack, okay? So we don't get to go to the next page. Uh oh says, oh no, your dive's guide's air supply is almost used up. Before he disappears through the deck hatch, he tries to tell you something in sign language. What on earth is he saying? Can that be right? If you interpreted this correctly, it means something like, the scissors have cut the paper really great. That makes no sense. Or does it? Scissors paper great. Those are bolded as if they are clues. So we're still on the same page. Am I supposed to cut something? There's no way. Am I just supposed to surface? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it again. Does it make sense what Edgar the dive is trying to tell you? Absolutely. Try translating the sentence on riddle card K into sign language or just, or better yet, just the bold printed words. So scissors, paper, great. Oh, oh, two, five, one. <laughs> this is clever. This is clever stuff. Okay, card 30. Wow. Figured it out! <laughs> 12 and 13 has some logbook entries. This morning we sailed from Port Lago uh, Lagomera to find the westward route to India. As we left, we were met by a ship with a huge white cross emblazoned on its mast. Three blue flags were hoisted into the mast as well. The top flag was decorated with a fish, the next with a shell, and the smallest at the very bottom with a seahorse. There's the cross, right there, with a fish and a shell, and a 
a seahorse. And the moon, we saw a turtle and a starfish swimming. Do starfish swim? I thought they just crawled. Followed by a jellyfish. Okay, so that's seven. Finally, we have the star suddenly spied an octopus swimming above a fish and a jellyfish. So that's three. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the code in 473. That's card 11. Boom! Ha! Take riddle card M from the stack and turn to page 14. Okay, riddle card M. It's got a message for us. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Off the box, the lid must go. As the lid slowly slides, keep your eyes peeled on the sides. In just the right place, you'll see on the face suddenly a code you will see that where there was nothing previously. One final tip, no time to lose. The actual box is what you'll use. Okay, now they talk about the actual box being a tool. Losers. We'll see it on the face. Suddenly a code you'll see. Okay. Do do do. Okay, not on that one. <gasps> oh, oh, I figured it out. Looks like 271 to me. You see it? Do you see it? Ah! Okay, 271. All right, that's card 15. All right, pow! Perfect, the door is now open. What you see inside takes your breath away. In the drawer are six sparkling gemstones. In addition, you find riddle cards N, O, P, and Q. Take the cards from, from the stack and the gemstones from the side of the table. So I have all these pretty, pretty gems. And I'm missing a yellow one. Oops. Oh well, I will figure it out. There's the yellow one, okay. All right, I got all the ones. All right, and then I take N, O, P, and Q. What do we got on N, O, P, and Q? Oh, we've got little gem orders. And N says, step one, white lies immediately next to, uh, immediately to the right next to purple. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. White lies to the immediate right of purple. Blue lies to the immediate left next to yellow. So blue's to the left of yellow. Red does not lie to the immediate, immediately next to blue. So red and between purple and red are two gemstones. Okay. Between purple and red are two gemstones. So that I don't know why that puts green. All right, so double checking, making sure everything is right. So we've got white is to immediately to the right of purple, that's left. White is to the right of purple. Blue is immediately to the left next to yellow. So white and then yellow and blue. Red does not come immediately next to blue, correct? And between purple and red, lie two gemstones, so that's wrong. Not next to red, this will go here. Aha! All right, so now that we've got that, now I have to match that to, it's like I've lost all my riddle cards, I'm not keeping very good track of anything right now. And we've got step two, three, and four, we've got these pictures with numbers on them, with showing the order of the things. Go figure, sitting right next to the fireplace gets hot really fast. Okay, um, So I organize them. Four, three, that was one, that's two, five, Blue, yellow, purple, red, green, and white. Three plus one is four. Plus two is six. Plus four is ten. Plus
with our four steps. Okay, 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 okay. So, what I'm doing here Okay, so we started them out organizing them along the top line. So in step one, we've got, you move like green to four and blue to three and stuff. And then like I was confused by what that was, but I think I'm supposed to draw in that order and then I'm gonna keep moving them down and it's gonna draw out numbers. Let's see if that is accurate. Why do I feel like I'm doing this wrong? That sure as heck does not look like a number to me. I don't know why I'm allowing this to stress me out, but I'm like starting to dissociate a bit. <laughs> like I'm talking and it feels like it isn't my voice, but I know I'm the only one near the front. Like nobody else is close right now a weird sensation to be like talking and feeling like it's coming from a radio somewhere else. I want to solve this stupid puzzle. Oh, they're not numbers. They're shapes. Not 100% sure what this first shape is. But then it's a fish. And then it's like a starfish. Is that an option? Oh, there is a starfish. Card three. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I didn't mess it up that badly. Great. The chest opens. There it is. The precious treasure of the Santa Maria. You found it! Lucky thing, too, because your oxygen supply is running out faster than expected. Quick, back to the surface. Oh, okay. Minor detail. The door won't open. Wait, can you get out the window? As you look more closely, you, t you find riddle cards, R, S, and T, and take them out of the stack of cards. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got... Codes, guys. So many codes. And some treasure. There is literally no way I can make solving this enjoyable uh, from, like, a fun you guys point of view. <laughs> Alright, time to get out of this notebook. I'll do this as quick as well. I'll just cut it out. I'll cut it out and I'll let you know when I figured out the answer. D, take riddle card U. That's this one. In riddle card U is riddle card V and W. <laughs> V and W are more of these little puzzles. So now I gotta take these arrows. I gotta take these arrows, starting at that dot, and then make the shape from that dot. So six. Six. Do, do. Now take riddle card Y. So not X, but Y. Right? Down, down, up, up, down, down, down. Yes. For the third digit, page 16 is crucial. Okay, so let's go to page 16. That's the back of the book. Okay, so it's got some symbols on it, on the back. And it says, like, trident on trident, anchor on anchor, and wave on wave. Then open. Oh, so like, am I supposed to fold it? I'm tearing out the page. All right, trident on trident, anchor on anchor, and then wave upon wave. I don't... Oh. Then wave upon wave. It's the number four! Alright, so we've got 864. It's not next! We did it! And what's our timer at? Oh no, I didn't start it! <laughs> okay, so looking at this thing, it says there's 26 minutes. So 55 minutes plus 26 minutes. Is 81 minutes and I used a couple cards so what score did I end up getting? Three to five health cards I got seven stars. Oh no that's greater than that. I got eight stars. I had a blast with this. I love solving puzzles. It makes me feel smart. Um, so this was a lot of fun for me. I definitely think I'm gonna get another one of these games. Um, if there are any games you'd like us to play with you on, you know, play on the channel for you guys to watch, let us know. We're way into board games. Um, only request is it does have to be a one-player thing because Andrew is busy with work, so I'm the only one who has time to record. But yeah, I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. Uh, let me know what you think. Sorry I couldn't keep the nice, uh, pretty, cozy fire going. It was just way too hot. Um, but yeah, until our next video, I'll see you guys later. 
Bye. Hey everybody, it's Wynn. I want to give a big thank you shout out to Abby, Liz Joyce, and Shoshi Bauer, and all of our other patrons for supporting this channel and helping us be what we are. If you're interested in becoming a patron, a link to our Patreon is in the description below. If you are interested in sending fan mail of any kind, our P.O. Box address is also in the description below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all you Intropical Fish have a super great day. Bye!